For many, Linda Carter is the first Wonder Woman they ever knew. Her poise and beauty graced TV screens from 1975 to 79. The statuesque icon came into the spotlight as Miss World USA 1972 and finished in the top 15 at the Miss World pageant that same year. Carter is also a talented singer who's released several albums. One thing many Linda Carter fans may not know is the tragedy she's encountered in her life. Join Facts Verse as we discuss the tragedies that changed Linda Carter. Her early life. Linda Carter was born Linda Jean Cordova Carter to a mother of Mexican-Spanish descent and an English-Irish father. She was interested in showbiz early on in life. At age five, she made her music debut in her hometown of Phoenix, Arizona. In high school, she performed in a band called Just Us. At 16, she joined two of her cousins in a new band called The Relatives. They opened at a popular Las Vegas hotel and lounge for three months. Because Linda was underage, she had to use the kitchen entrance. She attended Arizona State University, but soon dropped out to pursue a career in music. In 1970, she joined Speedy Garfin and the Garfin Gathering on tour as a singer. She was with the group for two more years before leaving to pursue a career as an actress in 1972. Rise to Stardom Linda gained nationwide attention in America by winning Miss World USA 1972, representing Arizona. She even finished in the top 15 at the Miss World pageant. Not long after winning her crown, Hollywood came knocking. She had already begun taking acting classes in New York and making appearances in TV shows such as Cause and Starsky and Hotch. But it was her powerful role as Wonder Woman in 1975 that made her a notable star. The show initially started out as a special on ABC, but by 1976, the network turned it into a series. After the first season, CBS picked it up and aired it for a few more years. The show was a huge success, despite fear from the networks that a female lead wouldn't be popular. In an interview with the Daily Mail, Carter said that TV executives didn't think there was a market for a female holding a role like Wonder Woman. Her role as Wonder Woman opened up a world of opportunities for her in TV, movies, and music. In March of 1977, she was a guest star on The Jackson Show, alongside Michael Jackson and his family. 1981 saw Carter as a presenter at the 8th American Music Awards. She also had her own TV specials that featured guests like Leo Sayer, Kenny Rogers, Tom Jones, Jerry Reed, and others. These were so wildly successful that the third one, titled Celebration, went on to win an Emmy. Her most recent appearances in TV shows and movies include her role as President Olivia Marsden on the hit TV show Supergirl and the 2018 film Super Troopers 2. Tragedies are a part of life, and everyone, celebrity or not, has gone through some pretty tough times. And Linda Carter is no different. Her mother had Alzheimer's. In 2003, Carter's mother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease at age 79. For Linda, her mother, who was known as Jean, had always been a driving force in her life, supporting her throughout her career. At the time of her diagnosis, Jean was living alone in Phoenix, where she'd raised her three children. Carter, who lives outside Washington, would fly out every couple months to visit Jean in Arizona. Over time, she began to observe some changes in her mother's behavior and signs of cognitive decline. In the February 2020 issue of Brain and Life, Carter sheds more light on how the disease affected her mother. Quote, she would get angry if she had to drive at night. Jean, who'd been totally independent and social, was now suddenly reluctant to drive. Jean's health soon became an issue that could no longer be overlooked when she fell in her home. Luckily, Carter's brother Vincent found her and took her to the doctor, who discovered her toenails had grown so long they interfered with her walking. The doctor advised it was no longer safe for her to live alone, so she moved into a facility where she could be better cared for. The move helped Carter's mother become a happier person. One thing was paramount for Carter during her mother's illness, preserving her dignity. She made sure to never play the don't you remember game with her, but no matter what, Jean always remembered her daughter. She died at age 89 in 2013. After her mother's death, Carter began lending her name and support to Maria Shriver's women's Alzheimer's movement. She's also a supporter of the Translational Genomics Research Institute in their effort to end the suffering caused by Alzheimer's. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And keep watching to learn about the tragedies faced by Linda Carter.
She struggled with alcoholism. Carter has, to a large extent, managed to avoid scandals in her career, which is why it may surprise you to learn about the 70-year-old's struggle with alcoholism. She admits she didn't begin drinking until her mid-20s and would take two or three year breaks only to start drinking again. Sadly, there's a history of alcoholism in her family and a well-known connection between alcohol dependence and genetics. During the time Carter began drinking heavily, she was unhappily married to her first husband, talent manager Ron Samuels. They were married from 1977 to 82. Carter did find love again and was married two years later to video game exec Robert Altman. She decided to seek help at the urging of her husband, who pleaded with her to think of their children. Although her children never saw her out of control, her alcohol addiction prevented her from being there for them in the way she should have. Now 23 years in recovery, Carter is committed to help others who are struggling and to take the stigma out of alcoholism. She lost her husband. Linda met Robert Altman in 1982 at a dinner party hosted by Maybelline. Carter was the face of the cosmetics label and Altman was the attorney for the parent company. The chemistry between them was undeniable. Two years later, they were married, and so began 37 years of marriage that ended this February after Robert's death. He died of myelofibrosis, a rare blood cancer. Carter and Altman shared a wonderful life. They had two children, James Altman, 33, an attorney, and Jessica Carter Altman, an attorney turned singer-songwriter. Robert's death has been difficult for Carter and has taken her months to finally talk about. Robert was her support in tough times and she was his. He encouraged her to seek help when she struggled with alcohol addiction. In 1993, when Altman was on trial, Carter stood by his side as he maintained his innocence. He was acquitted of all charges. Carter gushes about her late husband. She describes him as someone fun to be with and a good sport, who encouraged her to try new things. Until his death, he was the CEO of Zenimax, a video game company. Carter truly embodies the character of Wonder Woman in her daily life. Her ability to push through the most tragic events in her life and remain relevant in Hollywood is amazing. On October 29th, she released a song titled Human and Divine. It's a tribute to her late husband, Robert. Carter says she was also inspired by the bittersweet love shared by Diana Prince and Steve Trevor in the Wonder Woman 1984 film. She's not only releasing new music, but she's also officially joined the Wonder Woman 3 cast. She cameoed in the 2020 film Wonder Woman 1984 as Asteria, whose golden eagle armor Diana wears in the film's climactic battle. Wonder Woman 3 has yet to receive a release date, but fans are looking forward to seeing Carter reprise her role as Asteria. There's no denying Linda Carter is strong. She's proof human beings can overcome tragedy to create something beautiful. We look forward to hearing more amazing music from her. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite talent of Linda Carter, her singing or her acting? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.